My name is Juliet Guhemokuria. I am a 4.2 student in the Institute of Tourism and Hospitality Management and I am a mountaineer. Okay, my Mount Kenya experience, I would not say it was it's very easy. My motivations. Okay, I like to I once liked to stand out. I never knew that I would stand out in my own way in being in the outdoors and other stuff. But once I discovered that I could do it more and more and then it became like part of my thing and then everyone like recognizes me with the mountain even my classmates they call me because we have two Juliet's they call me Juliet Mountain that makes me happy and makes me like want to do more and more of this and it's somewhere that I'm able to express myself it helped me be a leader so it motivates me to do more and more okay there are many advantages I hope to gain from my mountaineering naturally there is the feeling of victory and even if and more of like having that experience of doing exercise in a mountain environment but up, apart from that there is the process itself that comes like as a form of self-discovery like my limits my potential my mountaineering sense my skills and these are many discoveries that whose acceptance once discovered may make you just go back for where you are and come back and try it another time because it always gets better because the experience is different every time you may go this time find it sunny come next time it's cold it's raining it's then everything just changes in such a short span of time then about claim to educate it's like one of the best clubs or things that you can bring because not keep aside the mountain climbing and stuff there are also other many things we do like we have this challenge course where we do very many stuff like team building activities and games and just keep fit sessions you don't have to keep fit like so that you can climb the mountain you can also do it for just normal life because you just want to lead a healthy life and everything else then I would encourage everyone to do this thing. It's not as tough as it says. It's not like rocket science or something. Simply go, just train smart and play well. Actually, it also teaches you many life, is it life skills or survival techniques? Because at times you just have to work with like little, little everything that is there. You have to improvise. You may miss something. But you have to use what's available to make it work. Like once our tent broke down, okay, not really broke down, didn't have enough bags. So we had to go to the bush and get those two sticks and just put that, make it work. Like it helps you survive. At times, like um, you may have heavy luggage and at times people leave luggage like food because it's heavy and then you reach next camp you have less food you have to hustle in other groups like it just helps you learn how to survive you have to dressing it's simple you don't have like to carry your device and your blankets and your everything that help you like not lose heat at some certain times of the day or the night because during the day you just go casual like how I am I am fit to go but not unless you are doing the sun where you have to put on your layers but it gets warm in time so you have to shed off some of them but the most important is the rain gear because once you rain on your clothes cannot dry up there so you have to survive with your freezing clothes and everything frost bites and everything wind gear there is something we call wind gear it's very important it helps you know to lose heat by convection convection yes that one <laughs> convection currents <laughs> then okay it's challenging i have had many challenges i'll not say every climb for me is a smooth one at times you experience just something but once you come down and you're like i'll never come back here again but once you come back and look back at the experience you're just like i want to do that again like you may experience okay once i had some acute mountain sickness i was so scared but it turned out fine because it was just that I think I overexacted myself so I did not acclimatize. I didn't get used to that altitude the way I was supposed to. So it worked badly on my side. So I had these headaches and some other 
symptoms, but it's just a matter of just relax and you'll be fine. And just do your own pace. Actually, in the mountain, it's not about physical strength. It's all about doing what you can do. Don't compete with other people who have like more strength than you. You just go at your own pace and you just adapt. Like Just make sure you go at your own pace so that you get used to that altitude as slowly as possible. Then it works for you. Simply put. Just my advice to all climbers or aspiring climbers. Train smart, climb well. And the best mountaineer is the one who is having the most fun. You don't have to be the strongest to be the best, best mountaineer. You don't have to do two. But yeah, in 10 minutes to be the best mountaineer, you can do up to base camp, but you had so much fun, that makes you a very good mountaineer.